Then let's move on to our diligence task force. So this task force was set up a couple of months ago to take a look, a deeper look into um, existing implementations and the need uh, by implementers when it comes to implementations of OpenID for verifiable credential. It has, has been mentioned a couple of times in the presentations. I thought it would make sense to just briefly explain what it is, right? Uh, so OpenID for verifiable credential, uh, credentials is one set of protocols that allows the issuance of credentials and the presentation of credentials. There are others like DITCOM, the ISO uh, uh, stuff and so on. OpenID has been in emerging for, uh, during the last two years. It's done by the OpenID Foundation. That's the standardization body that also did or does OpenID Connect and FAPI, for example. There's a working group associated with that. It's called the Digital Credentials Protocols Working Group. Um, I'm one of the co-chairs of that working group. And Joseph writes the conformance tests <laughs> for it. So that's, that's what it is. It, it was, for example, chosen uh, by the, by the um, European Union's uh, expert group for EIDAS as one of the technical underpinnings of EIDAS beside uh, ISO 18013-5. So those, those are the, the major uh, uh, technical standards when it comes to protocols. Uh, and we are super proud of that and, and support that initiative with all we do. And one of the uh, new work items we, we picked on in support of that initiative and others is the um, OpenID for VC High Assurance Interoperability Profile with SDJOT. It's called HYPE. It was also mentioned by uh, two of the project uh, maintainers. So uh, it elevates or it profiles um, OpenID for the regulated use cases. And uh, Sassi in his presentation already m mentioned OpenID for VP over Bluetooth for Energy, something we are really excited about because it extends uh, the family to proximity use cases. And I think that's important because verifiable credentials, the unique feature of verifiable credentials is you can use them in all different sorts of scenarios, online as well as proximity. And that should be seamless. We also have a security and trust uh, uh, document, which is uh, maintained by Daniel Fett, who you have seen uh, in the SDJOT presentation before. Yeah, and there is a certification suite under development. Right now, we are able to test um, presentation interface of a wallet. And it's already been used by, Joseph, three wallets? Yeah. Three wallets, yeah. Thank you. All right, then yeah, let's go back to the due diligence task force. So the goal of the due diligence task force is pretty simple. We would like to bring existing a new code that implements OpenID for BC to RWF. That's our goal. So, and in order to really do that, there are lots of other objectives. So first of all, we would like to implement what implementers want. We want to gather that input, and we want to deep dive with all the implementers into specifications. So the, the last couple of sessions, for example, um, Christina or Christina Yasuda, who is the other co-author um, or co-chair of the DCP working group and one co-author of OpenID for VC, we ask um, or we, we answer questions by implementers, which proved to be very useful. But we are still surveying existing implementations. So we have a huge sheet, I'm gonna show it to you, where we really have feature sets and the existing implementations, so people can really also again compare what's in it for me. And it also helps implementers to figure out where are gaps, what is missing, what do I need to do next. Um, we also provide implementers um, of projects that are not necessarily already at OWF. We provide them a space to demonstrate and to show their implementations, clearly with the intent to convince them to come and join the team, right? So, um, yeah, and we are contacting um, uh, those implementers and try to figure out whether uh, OWF would be, would be a good place uh, for hosting their work. Yeah, I think the last point, meanwhile, is, is obsolete because we have um, inbound implementations of OpenID for VC, uh, but we originally planned also to, to come up with a plan what is needed and in the end, uh, yeah, construct a project proposal. Um, Right now, it looks like there is um, 
the contribution by Ping, Mossep, and also uh, Lisi and S. Satos that um, yeah, implement the protocol. And there are other, other implementers we are, we are on discussion with. So those are the implementers um, that we have been working with. So you see, none of the contributions we proposed today are on the list, so there are even more implementers that are interested to come uh, to OWF, so it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And just to give you, give you an idea how the, um, the sheet looks like, so what we did is, and it was mainly um, Hakan, who, who runs uh, this group, um, has really broken down um, the different features of the, for example, OpenID for VP uh, uh, specification. And then we have um, columns for each of the implementations, and now we try to figure out what is supported by which of those, of those implementations, which again helps implementers to understand what they can do with which project. It's a tremendous work, and uh, kudos to Hakan for, for that. And we are hoping that all the implementers use that as a as a chance to also present their project and their feature set uh, to interested developers. <laughs> yeah, that's the current uh, scope and, 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 and progress. So for OpenID for VCI, uh, we have created 70% of the criteria. Um, as a, as a spec writer, I have to admit there are uh, two people that are really in my neck right now. This is Joseph, because he always wants to, to, be, to know in detail what I mean with certain text. And it's Hakan, because Hakan tries to break down that into, into features in the, in, in the sheet. And we realized, Christina and I myself, we realized, OK, we need to improve the spec a bit to make their life easier. So that's, that's already really a good, a good feedback loop. We have here. Um, so we're not done yet with the implementation uh, criteria for OpenID for verified credential issuance, but we are done with the criteria for OpenID for verified presentations. And a lot of implementers already filled um, the, uh, the table um, and the cells you have seen already. And there is another protocol I did not mention, which is called SIOP v2. Um, this is a protocol for doing pseudonymous authentication with the wallet. So you can use the wallet can set up a new connection uh, for a certain relying party and can use that. And it's basically a key pair managed by the wallet that is then used for subsequent logins uh, with the wallet. This is also part of the family. And it's also being used in the, in the IDAS context. We have already uh, broken down all the criteria and now waiting for the implementers to fill in. For OpenID for BLE, uh, uh, we haven't started yet um, to work on that. But it's ongoing work. If you want to chim in, um, the group um, meets every other Tuesday, 5 o'clock um, CST. But you can also find that on the Open Wallet Foundation calendar. Yeah, bi-weekly meetings. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I recalled it correctly, 5 p.m. CST. Um, we have a GitHub repo, we have the worksheet, and we communicate using the Discord um, of Open Wallet Foundation. Are there any questions on the Diligence Task Force? <coughs> you like it? Okay, cool. Right, so we are largely ahead of schedule, which is due to the fact no one asks questions, I guess. <laughs> um, so I would like to sum up uh, uh, the mini summit. So anyone here in the room wants to share his or her impression about that? Have you, have you gained what you were looking for? That's very important to us. I mean, we need to figure out whether that format makes sense going forward, right? If it is useful for people. What do you think? Mission accomplished, right? <laughs> we want you to look into the project. Yeah. And I, I took note. And what I'm really amazed about is we have seen projects 
for three different protocols, DITCOM, ISO, and OpenID, which to me are the, the main protocols for, in the credential space today. And there's also one other project inbound uh, for VC API. Unfortunately, some of the maintainers rea didn't react on my, on my impulse, so we have four protocols going forward in OWF, which really demonstrates we are open to all kinds of contributions, right? And people can get code for the technology they, they are looking for in decentralized identity. We also have seen credentials from ISO, ISO MDoc. We have seen SDJ, JSON LD, and AnnoCreds. So at least four different credential formats. So there really is really, um, yeah, diversity. We have seen online protocols and we have seen proximity protocols. So the, the, the physical world and the online world and, most notably, almost all projects are production grade. That's really cool. So, with that, thank you for coming. <laughs>